From KETK, you're watching East Texas Live. Welcome back to East Texas Live. Joining me now is David and Haley, and they're here to talk about the Smith County Junior Livestock Show. Thank you all so much for being here today. Thanks for having us. Yes, sir. So, Haley, can you just talk about what competitions and shows are at the Smith County Junior Livestock Show? So, at the Livestock Show, we have our livestock shows, which are our cattle, pigs, lambs, goats, and then we also have our smaller animals, which are our chickens and our rabbits. Alongside the livestock shows, we also have home economics, ag mechanics, horticulture and public speaking. Two new competitions that they added this year were archery and a floral cup. Wow, so y'all got a little bit of everything. Yes, sir. So do, what kind of animals do you have? Um, I have a pig, rabbits, and then I'm also baking a cake this year. Okay, and so, you know, you know Haley, events like this is for 4-H and FFA members, you know, what kind of skills do y'all kind of gain from this? Um, we gain like confidence and a lot of time management and money management as well because you have to be able to feed them, keep them alive, and they, they're not very happy if you don't feed them on time. <laughs> yes. Yes. That's right. And uh, David, you know, so why do you share, you know, to want to get involved in something like this? You know, it's, it's just really good for the community. Uh, obviously, uh, you know, these kids work really hard, uh, you know, day in and day out. Uh, they learn some great responsibilities. And I think it's really important for, uh, you know, all our community to get back and support these kids. Uh, you know, this is what's going to grow them to be our future leaders. And I think it's really important that we try to really get, take good care of them. Yes, yeah, sir. And so what makes you want to invest so much into the, you know, the next generation? Well, you know, there's lots of things that we can invest in, but our kids are our future. Uh, you know, me personally, uh, I grew up in FFA and 4-H, and I raised cows and pigs, and, and I was sitting right here where Haley was, and, uh, you know, we, you go through all that, and you learn all that, and there's a lot of expense. I mean, parents have to put a lot of money and, and things into it, and it's just showing that, you know what, we support our kids not only in athletics and all their activities, but what they learn from this, we want to show the community that we give back. Yes, sir. That's, that's a lot of, you know, things that y'all, sure. you know, raise it. So, Haley, the sale of champions is on Friday. You know, what does that entail and what does the money that y'all raise go to? So, our sale of champions is on Friday. We start with a lunch for all of our buyers. Following the lunch, we have our award ceremony where we have the scholarship recipients, the top um, buyers from the previous year. We also announce our sponsors and our friends of the show. Following the awards is when we actually start the sale of the animals and the projects. And the money that is raised goes right back to the kid. So some kids will use that money for college. Some kids will use it for their projects the following year. And is that for like seniors, juniors? Is it also anybody that's selling a project? And then, so David, for, for potential buyers that are, you know want to get involved, what, sure. what, would, what was the message that you would send to them? Sure. I, I obviously, you know. Uh, it, it, we're giving back to the kids and when we're able to do that and give back to their parents to help support all these kids and all their work the hard work that they do they deserve it so uh, I just challenge all the all the businesses in town and uh, they've, they've worked really hard and, and to have a bunch of uh, uh, businesses to come out and support these kids I think it would just be awesome just for Tyler and Smith County to, to show that we do care and we do give back to our kids and our future leaders and what does it mean to you that you know people are still supporting y'all's FFA and 4-H um, it's really important to me because this is my senior year and I've been showing since I was in fourth grade and so it just means a lot whenever there's a lot of people that show that they actually do care because sometimes people don't realize all the work that goes into sure. it. Sure. Yes ma'am. Well thank y'all so much for coming in and telling us all about that. For more information you can go to the website right there on your screen.